to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Quite simply, we think it's the best fishing show on YouTube. Now we do all around fishing, different species, different countries, different techniques. And that fish you saw up there is in fact the Silver King. It's a tarpon, a huge herring-like fish. You can catch it on light tackle. It takes flies, it takes lures, it takes live bait, it takes an absolute eternity to catch because they are such a strong fighter. We're going to take it to the Florida Keys where we used to do quite a lot of this tarpon fishing. And I'll tell you what, they are well worth fishing for. Just a tip or two first though. Now, the tarpon, the Silver King as we said, is not really fished for commercially. It's a sport fish designed totally for anglers. Whoever invented it, they deserve a medal. But recently, comparatively recent years, in America, in Florida, they don't want you to take them out of the water. You can only do that if you have a tag and a tag card, and it all has to be photographed. But years ago, and this is vintage footage we're gonna be looking at, you used to be able to grab them by the jaw, use a boga grip, or in fact, just get a little chin gaff. You can lift them out, get your picture, release them, let them go, they were fine. So the, what we're gonna be showing you now is vintage footage, probably 15, 18 years ago when we used to go down Florida Keys type of fishing. It's great, but we don't kill the fish. Please don't, if you don't write it, please don't vote in, please. The fish aren't killed, they're all put back alive. Some are put back with tags and some we just photograph. It was the way it was then. Now you can't take them out of the water, rest, rest of the world, you can take them out of the water and get a picture. So we're well aware of all the latest rules and regulations, but this is vintage footage. Lots of tips in there for you to catch fish. We hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna tell you what, it generally really is some totally awesome fishing. If you really want some excitement, the place to come is the Florida Keys. We come with a group each year to Isla Mirada and we're fishing for shark, tarpon, bonefish, etc. the usual species of game fish. We don't do much offshore fishing, but what we do do is small boat fishing for the big tarpon. Now, you might think it's a pretty complicated thing to do, but in fact, if you can just catch live bait, you can actually have as good a chance as you can going with a guide. Now, as I speak, a guide is probably about $300, $350 for a day is you can get some self-drive boats for about oh, $160 a day. So you can do it pretty cheaply. And the sort of tackle you're gonna need is what you need really for UK boat fishing. All you're gonna need, this is a 50 pound uh, boat rod, 50 pound class, not stand up, just a regular boat rod. I'm not gonna say the make because they don't do me any favors. Um, so regular 50 pound boat rod and lever drag reel, just basically because they're very, very smooth. Now, this is quite important when you go tarpon fishing. You can catch them on 10, you can catch them on 12. I've done 12 pound spin fishing. I've done all the usual stuff that uh, you know people go through. But at the end of the day, you lose so many. On holiday, you can't afford to do that. So I would suggest going heavy tackle on a, a reel like this, which is a TLD 20. I use it for quite a lot of the fishing. I overline that and put 50 pound Andy Premium on it. Andy Premium generally over tests slightly. So the 50 probably go for about 52. The reason for this is, twofold, one for setting the hook and two for abrasion. Uh, you're going to get stuff like crab pot boys, um, you've got all the bridges you're going to hook these fish around, so it's much better why fight a fish for two hours on 12 pound than have it swim straight through a bridge, cut you off, ping, it's done, all that's wasted, you wasted your money, your time, your effort. Uh, most of my people now do tend to go on the heavier side, catch a fish, you bring it up, unhook it, photograph it, release it, go catch another one. That's that basic outfit which will do you 30 pounds fine but if you use 30 pounds try and overline the reel and put at least 40 pounds on it I don't use much less than 40 now there's a couple of float rigs now it's dead easy type of fishing is so easy it's unbelievable you get one of these little pegged polystyrene floats like this bobbers as they're affectionately known over here in Florida a good span which is a body length or more of a tarpon for it to roll against six feet to seven feet of a hundred pound Andy premium rubbing leader, chewing leader, call it what you will. And this is your hook, just there. This one's been uh, been used a few times. But the most important thing is you tie it with a loop knot. So if you have live baits, it moves around. You've got plenty of scope for movement there. It's not a rigid, rigid knot like that, which might make the bait look, I don't know, just unnatural really. Now there's a couple of makes of hooks. I've gone right through them. I used to use the Eagle Claw, um, 354M wide gape uh, marlin hook. I've since changed over. 
without a doubt the owners probably are about the best hook they're very very expensive uh, that's a 6-0 which we use for basically pinfish which is a small fish live bait about this big and you can use a 7-0 if you use live mullet then for crabs I go to these uh, eagle, claw, eagle claw I'll give you the code L2586 they're a 4-0 bronze hook 8 to a packet and they're called laser sharp now they're pretty good as well we use those smaller hooks for the crab and for the bigger ones these uh, 6-0 the model number is 5 treble 1 161 there's only four in a packet if you get one tarpon bite on them cut it off you cannot get the point as sharp as when they come out of these packet to so try and use that the three baits you're going to be using really you're going to be using a live crab which you can either catch or buy if you buy them they'll cost you maybe buck 25 buck 50 each and the crabs claws will have been removed so you don't get nipped and you just hook them through the edge of the shell and you drift them back on this very same cork rig, float rig here. You use a live pinfish, just hook it through the leading edge of the dorsal fin in front so it makes it swim down. Same rig, because all you need to do is that one, that one rig, float, lead a hook, and then you can use a um, live mullet, which you probably want an 8 hook on in uh, a wide gape st style of these owners, and that'll give you a bit more of a hook up. The live bait, as far as mullet go, take a lot of trouble to keep them alive, so I'd scrub the mullet. Believe me, we catch lots and lots of tarpon on just pinfish and crabs. Finally, if the fish get a little bit touchy, my suggestion, if you're daytime fishing, is to use the old-fashioned round cork bobbers, which are very, very cheap here. And of course, they really brown, they just look like a piece of weed. Sometimes I think these bright white ones, you know, they're fine for night fishing, but they look a bit garish. And they're good for night fishing, you can pick them up with a Q-beam, your light you need to take with you. So that's basically it. That's the rig, we're gonna go fishing uh, predominantly with live pinfish and this will give you a following idea this little sequence we've got coming up some of the fish you're going to catch and uh, the time of year we're here which is April May time they're big fish they average average about 100 pounds a piece so check some of these fish out see what you think on the first evening of our first session everybody say there's no tarpon about you won't catch them when we've got a pinfish on he's already lost one it's only quarter to eight and he's on one. Nice fish here, looks around 100 pound mark. We've got him quite close, because the hook could still come out. In Henry's words, it's awesome, but we're going towards the bridges there, and we're going towards the snags in the back, the coffins. Okay, take it easy there, Henry. You might have to move around the boat, follow him, you know, if he goes left or right, yeah. follow him around like that. Now, nice and smooth, very smooth lifts now. We're close to the snags and we're close to the fish. There's quite a few snags and these tarpon know it as well. He knows where he's going, yeah? Yeah, he knows where he's going. He's just started moving again, so slow. He's sweating with nerves. It's goddamn unreal. They're yeah, nice smooth lifts, real smooth lifts. Pressure on him. He was probably starting to circle the boat a bit. Will he? Yeah. Oh, this is just awesome. Roll on. Sun. Fabulous sunset oh, there, look at that. Gorgeous. And there are other guys. We've got another four boats, one's running up over there. Got some in the back there, but it's a fabulous evening. The wind's from the west, pretty strong, the tide's dead, so we're very, very lucky to even hook a fish here. So we're going to see how long this one stays off. They come off any time at all, but yeah, but uh, I'd like to try and get some sort of action near the boat if we can. But he's still plugging out deep. He made some fabulous jumps when he came out against the sun. That's it, follow him around the boat. That's it. And when they get these tarpon close, they don't kill them. They're magnificent fish, and they're no good as a food source anyway. So let everything go, and he's on a 100 pound mono leader. So generally, you, you, you reach out and you touch a cork, and it's, it's a cork, supposed to be caught fish, you know. But I mean, if we can get any closer than that, we will do. But they're big fish, and if you get them by the bottom jaw, they can break your wrist or your forearm. Had guys doing that with big fish, 130, 150 pounds, had their arms broken. 
but we're just going to see if we can tire this critter out. I just want to see it. You'd be very impressed when you see it. Now take your time. Keep the pressure on. Oh, oh look at that! Me. Oh, is that big, buddy? Jesus Christ! Is that a big old fish there? Oh, the size of that. I think he's impressed. Press is not the word. In shock. He's getting tired, this fish, because we just rolled him then. I ain't gonna see but he's swimming not. back up into the current, and there are the coffins, the legendary coffins, where so many big tarpon have been lost around there. Oh my God, that was awesome. It's a big one. When you see the fish come up and broach like that, Henry, what they're doing is filling their air sac. Yeah. Uh, they're one of the few fish that can come up and actually suck and breathe the air we do. And, and he's got stronger, and that's what's just happened there. So he's taking a big gulp of air. Yeah. It's a sign he's getting tired, but it's a sign he's... Uh, I tell you he's tiring, but he's got a lot of strength left. He's got a lot of strength, yeah, no question. I just hope he's not going to take us right down to those uh, bridge buttresses down there, because we've lost a few down there over the years. Have you? Yeah. I'll have them before that, he says. Uh, so just let him work that rod and lift him just slowly. So an absolutely magnificent sunset coming. Do I look at the sunset or do I look at Henry's fish? There's the fish and there's the float. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. Keep, keep go back, go back. Watch you keep now go down again. Oh what a beauty, what a beauty. He's getting tired. He's getting tired, let him go now. So we're going to go around the right, right round. Good move. Big, big, big. Oh, that's a 120. Jesus. That's a 120, that's 120 pound fish. Right. Get ready to follow him down the stern. Oh my god. Follow him down the stern. Follow him around. Keep the pressure on him, get a real tired puppy. He's coming back to me. Go to the right, go back up the bow. Straight up the bow and keep the pressure bend on him. Well, what we're going to have to do is switch the camera off if we're going to take a, a shot of getting this fish up here. So I'll probably have to shut the camera down. But as you can see then, it's about 100, 120 pound fish, that one. It's a big tarpon. We've got pictures. There's a the fish. We get, we get this. It's a big fish. He's caught fish. Beauty. Look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful tarpon. Greg, can you hold this one? I'm going to have to get on that to get some pictures. Hang on, I'm going to put this away now. Here's a man with a fish. Gone. And here they've got tarpon, wild tarpon, at the side of the dock. And you pay like a dollar to go in and two dollars for bait. And you've got a good chance of seeing some of the biggest fish you're likely to see anywhere. And they are not tame. Well, they are tame, they're fed. But they're not penned in and they're not netted. Uh, let's go take a look at them. This is a small side size fish in here. I guess they're dockside tarpon around about 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Nice fish too. If you catch these on like 12 pound spinning gear, really good. A few mangrove snappers down below there as well. Just look over this side, in between the boats. Even, even bigger ones. You want to watch a grown man cry? I'm going to fish in here. <laughs> I don't care what those people what say. What size are these then, Graham? I'll tell you what, a couple of about, about 160 plus, the big ones, if they're still here. There was one, one they called Big Mo, they had a white mark on his side, it was, it was about 160. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they made me jump and I'm not even holding the fish. Man, I don't use... Well, I'll keep some bait, I'm going to get you... You've got to dangle it a little, little bit lower, Matt. Okay. Come on, man, go for it. I'll go. get it later on, can get you hand-feeding. Hand-fed tarpon. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh. You've got to wiggle it and shake it. They think it's going to get dropped in. <laughs> <laughs> what we've had on this trip as well, a couple of times now, but we haven't been able to show you because it's uh, it's been too dark. But I've had a couple of nice, really colourful groupers. I have to say, I don't know what type they are. I've just had this one on a live pinfish. I used a natural cork float there and uh, on a 100 pound leader, fishing it on the inside for tarpon and, and quite deep. And sometimes you get these little bits of rock and rough ground and the groupers come over and they'll jump up, grab a pinfish, go straight back down. I managed to get this one out of a hole and I'll show you, it's a really nice fish. And he's still live. That's a beauty. 
Now these are really good eating fish. I've got no idea what uh, what exact species these are. See if I can hold it for you. It's very rough skin on the outside. Yeah, look at that. That is a beauty. Now if you're eating these fish, if this was on the right size limit, I've got no idea what type it is. But look at the size of the mouth on it. It's really good eating. But not that hungry today, so I'm going to take the hook out and let him go. Well, just after we had that that grouper, the rod on the outside went. I had it strapped down up the front. I tied a third rod on, and we got an 80 or so pound tarpon on. It's just me and Mike in the boat. We're doing a video. We're going to see how close we can get it. I can back straight up to the fish and just catch it with a leader. The fish is tired now. It took a pinfish. We had a good fight, two superb jumps on it. And we're just going to try and get to the fish. See if we can show it to you at the side of the boat. But of course, with tarpon, it might come out any time. The fish is just laying there. Coming to the boat now. He's coming to the boat now. He can haul his butt over here. Oh, yeah, he's a good fish. He's still green. He's going to jump. He's Oh yeah! Come on, fish. Give us some more. It's at least 80 pounds. Woo! He's still, he's still ripping the line out. Here he comes. He's gonna go under the boat. He's up by the boat. <laughs> he's gonna turn that boat fast. Right round the boat. Part of the fun of fishing on your own a rental boat is you need about five hands. It's just me and Mike on the boat, not trying to get Mike to video. See if I can get close to the fish, so there's a good chance we'll lose it. Hey, you never know. Just when you think the tarpon's done. Get another spurt of speed. Oh, can't turn it. He comes again. Try and get him up. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Trying to horse him too hard to get a picture for you. He's going to go way back there. and then he's going to jump again. There he is back there. He's on the surface. He's getting tired. Come on up, fish. Normally bust and run. And I'm on 50 here. Come on, fish. Get down 30. There he is. Come on, boy. I don't want to know. I'm going to keep working him. He is. There's a fish under the float. You gotta get one of these rental boats and get some one-on-one. -on -one. Do it all yourself. The sun's just about to touch the horizon. And here he comes again, Mike. Get that camera on by the I forgot my glove. But you really need to get hold of the leader. You keep saying he's done. Whew. Coming again. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know who's getting more tired, me or him. Oh. Get dragged towards channel five. He comes again. Come on, up, boy. Ah. Bust my rod if I'm not careful. That's some trouble. We'll get him. I got him. That's a cool fish. Just there. Want to video that, mate? Quick, quick, quick. That's a beauty. 
Now I'm going to try and get the hook out of that fish, good part of 80 pounds. That fish got to be close to, close to 100 pounds, much bigger than I thought. Magnificent. We've got a good chance here, now we come to a mark we know is a dump. <clears throat> We've jumped two tarpon, John lost two straight away, Matt's over there fighting a the tarpon. Big fish, well over 100 pounds, on a half a mullet on the bottom, and down there, there's another guy next to us. He's fighting the tarpon as well. I'd like to say his fish was smaller, but it's not. It's another fish, I'd say, on or over the 100 pound mark. And just through the back, you can see there's other guides fishing through the bridges. Plenty of people out tonight. This is a big fish. They're going to be a while on that puppy. Right, can you make line like this? Okay. Look at the sunset. Fighting the big tarpon. Oh, Here's Matthew. Look at what, that a what a setting. What a setting. What a fish. He's just drying his t-shirt out. He's just drying his t-shirt out. Okay. Hold tight. He went to Graham Pullen's secret tarpon mark for dead bait fishing on a flood tide as the sun sets. And we've hooked three, and this is the third one, it's a big fish. But we can't remember where the mark is, can we? No, we can't, we can't remember where the mark is, I'm sorry guys. Yeah. Right, you Graham, okay. you can do what you want. This is some fish, oh god, it's awesome. Graham, I don't know, when you watch this video back, you're going to hear me. If I go bust through tarpon fishing, it's your fault. This fish is still... I'm trying to turn the boat downwind. We keep running on the bloody fish, it's a trouble. It's got to be over an hour now, surely. He's, he's circling, you see, because he's getting more and more tired. We'll just go with the one fish. Mate. Some nice shots here in fighting with you, okay? That's all on camera. He's all there. Just about 160 pounds, folks. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. Oh if the camera's shaking, I apologise because I'm a bit excited.